What if I told you there's an illness that's making people sick here in London and across the UK? This illness spreads through the air. Without even knowing it, you've just breathed it in. You can live for years afterwards before it makes you sick, and without treatment, you can die. You'd want to know if you're at risk and how to stop it spreading, wouldn't you? In fact, it's one of the oldest illnesses, tuberculosis, TB. We're heading to St. Catherine's Island off the coast of Georgia. Turtles, we're coming for you. Where scientists are working hard to protect sea turtles from a surprising threat, the sea itself. They're tracking and moving the loggerhead turtle nests out of harm's way. It's soft, it is like a, like a ping pong ball, actually. Really, it really feels it's like it. And it's yeah. hard to believe there's a little baby turtle in there. Right? <laughs> I've just become a turtle dad. I just gave birth to a turtle. The most important thing is some 60% of young adults didn't vote to stop us leaving Europe. And also, the hard-working people in the UK felt they weren't listened to. So Brexit really is another way of spelling T-R-U-M-P. And, I mean, don't make the same mistakes as we did, for goodness sake. Just make sure you vote. And failing that, I think what we should do is get together with the developers of Pokemon Go and get them to put all the Pikachus <laughs> and what have yous in all the polling stations so the kids actually go in to get them. Or oh, while you're there, vote. Oh, yeah, uh... thanks very much. Make way for a new generation of cars. <laughs> This is the Strati, and it's a car almost entirely made of plastic. 1,800 pounds of the same stuff they use to make Lego. This is the world's first printed car. They print it for you, and you pick it up the next day. Incredible. The entire thing only took 44 hours to print. It's constructed of 212 layers of plastic laid one on top of each other. Here's a geek joke for you. Printer, driver, printer, driver. <laughs> and the great thing about this car is, if you don't like the look of it, you can just melt it down and print a new one. Rick Adams, The Weather Channel. We're going inside the biggest freezer and oven in the world. This is the McKinley Climatic Lab in Florida. It's huge. In fact, it's a monster. It's pretty darn cold in here. <laughs> That's because today they're creating an icing cloud for the F-35B to fly through. Jets of precisely controlled water droplets, as tiny as 10 microns, are hurled at the plane to see how it deals with the worst kind of weather. Rick Adams, The Weather Channel. Bob Ballard is the best known for discovering the Titanic. Talk about exploring. But now he's setting sail in search of a new discovery. I can't wait to see what it is. And our Rick Adam is aboard the Nautilus. Hello, good morning, Sam and everybody. Yes, here we are, a dockside to the Nautilus. It sounds exciting, doesn't it? Well, it is. And here is a fantastic machine called Hercules. And to explain it, we have the chief scientist, Katie Croft Bell. Hello, Katie. Hi, Rick. How are you? I'm very well. How are you? Good, thanks. This is an awesome piece of machinery that we can actually connect to, right? Absolutely. So this is Hercules and it connects to the ship via a very, very long cable. It can go down to 13,000 feet. These feet belong to the unstoppable Rosie Swale Pope. She's run around the world 20,000 miles to inspire others to go and get checked for cancer. And her epic journeys gave her the resolve to face the depth of her own grief. They see a silly woman pulling a cart, but this is really like fighting darkness with light, isn't it? She's a Mother Teresa on wheels. Not bad for a British grandmother of 68. Yeah. The thing is, I'm much too old to die young. And anyway... <laughs> <laughs> you know, I have a feeling there's a little of Rosie inside all of us. See the snowman yeah, that they built back there? Do you want to have a chat with them, Thomas? Yeah, I mean, you're the greatest yeah, no thing problem. we've had on the air all day, Rick. We love you. Oh, my, my get goodness, them. Thomas. Get well, them. You, you They're need building to get a snowman. Often. Yes, we need them. They just crowned the snowman <laughs> with an orange cone. You guys have been watching Frozen. Is that the deal? Is that Actually, we were singing it on the way here. OK. And so you just decided? I want to build a snowman. Beautiful. <laughs> and, and, and can you just talk us through the fashion of this uh, snowman? Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, no. 
Oh, oh, it's a disaster. Uh, oh my goodness, on MSNBC, what happened on I'm live so TV? sorry, Thomas. I had nothing to do with it. Rick, I <laughs> saw you. There's always controversy outside the Capitol. What, what happened there? Can you talk us through it? I think we built the Leaning Tower of Snowman, yeah. and uh, it was destined for oh. failure. Uh, Rick, I think you are the best thing that has happened to us in a long time around here. So thank you very much, <laughs> and we hope you will help the guys resurrect Olaf, uh, the zombie snowman. He can come back to life. <laughs> I've been sent to Ohio for a cricket story. Well, here I am in my cricket outfit. It's an ancient game from England that predates baseball. I'm ready. Let's play ball. I say, this isn't cricket. It's actually a cricket farm, but nobody eats insects, do they? There's 200 million people worldwide that eat crickets and 2 billion that eat insects in general. What? Look, I'm not eating them, okay? See if I can stall him a bit longer. Um, why do they make that noise? The males chirp to attract the ladies. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Stop that. I'm not eating them. Okay, okay, I give in. Okay, this is just not what I expected at all. This is really tasty. Oh, it's really good. Mmm. Crickets. Delicious. Who knew? Well, I certainly didn't. Rick Adams, The Weather Channel.